Hey guys and welcome to Watercolour Paper 101. I'm going to look at the watercolour paper and the differences between different grades and some brands. So watercolour paper comes in various different sizes, textures, colours and weights. As with watercolour paint there are many different brands of watercolour papers and each one will behave slightly differently. Personally, I recommend to use the best paper that you can afford. Better quality materials mean that you'll have an easier time working. I also recommend getting the thickest paper you can afford as well. I don't recommend working on anything less than 300 GSM or 140 pounds. One of the main classifications of watercolor paper is texture. The two main ones are cold pressed and hot pressed. Cold pressed has a slight texture to the paper and hot pressed is smooth and flat with a nice satin finish. There is also rough textured watercolour paper. This means that the paper is more textured than cold pressed. But it does have its uses. So here's a close up. I hope you can see some of the textures differences in the papers. These papers are from St Cuthbert's Mill based here in the UK. They produce the Saunders and the Buckingford range. In this video I am going to look at the differences between the different grade of papers all the way from really cheap cellulose paper to high quality cotton paper. Now the textures do have an effect on the colour and the look of each paint. Cotton papers tend to look a little bit better in colour while Sadio's papers tend to not look so good. And as well the texture of the paper will have an effect. If it's um, a coarser texture you'll see more of like the granulating colours such as ultramarines and cerulean blues. You'll see the granulation a lot heavier than on hot pressed watercolour paper. So I painted out some cerulean blue on hot pressed watercolour paper on the left and on the right is it on rough textured paper so you'll be able to see the granulation a lot more on it. You can see on the hot press it's quite smooth, the, pa the paint is quite uniform on it and you can't really see the texture of the granulation so much compared to the rough where you can really see that texture and where the pigment has settled into the grooves of the paper. The texture won't affect the overall hue of the colour though. It will still be the same blue. So for, to further test the differences of these papers, I thought I'd try some different ones. So De La Rowney Aquafine, Bockingford, the Fabio Arno watercolour student paper, which is 25% cotton, and the Saunders hot press paper, which is 100% cotton. Both the De La Rowney and Bockingford are cellulose papers, and they are made of cheaper wood fibres rather than cotton. The Bockingford is slightly better made than the De La Rowney one, though and it's slightly more pricey as well. So I'm just painting out the entire square in watercolour. It's the same concentration of wash for each square. And I'm going to see how each square behaves, how much each one warps, and what the colour looks like at the end when it dries. The material of the paper is also the quality and it affects on how the actual paint dries on the paper. Cotton paper will absorb the water and paint better, making the paper less likely to warp and overall will have a smoother wash and a general better look in overall really. 
while the saddle used paper will warp more as it doesn't have as good water retention and the colour may look a little bit more streaky on it as it's not going to be as even as a wash as the drying of the saddle will be a bit varied so you'll have pooling and cauliflowers and back ones a little bit more than on a, a more expensive papers. You can get blends of paper such as the Fabri Arno watercolour paper I'm testing here which is made up of 25% cotton. They also have a Fabri Arno 5 which is 50% cotton and Saunders do do a botanical paper which is 25% cotton. You can find all these papers and more down in the description bar below. So I'm going to look at now how much the papers warped and as you can see the Dela Rowney has warped the most while the Saunders has warped the less. So this one here is the Bockingford. There is some warping, but it's not quite as much as the Dale Rowney one, which is this one. That's really warped. And as well, as regard with the colour, you can see there's a lot more back runs and the colour is not as smooth overall in general. The Saunders 100% cotton did better and there were less back runs and the colour does look a lot smoother on it and it didn't warp hardly as much. I think one corner rose a little bit, but other than that, the paper is pretty flat. One other major difference with the colored papers is how it feels to paint on it. I can't quite show that on video, but cotton paper definitely feels nicer to paint on than cellulose. So I'm also going to do a lifting test here to see how permanent the colors are on the paper. Cellulose paper tends to mean the colors won't stay as firmly bound into the paper, as the colour won't seep in as deeply. So it will mean colours will lift easier. And you can see that on the Dale Rowney one that there was some colour that came up. This is important when layering with watercolour paint, as you don't want a paper that will lift all your paint up every single time you layer a new wash on top. Unless this is what you want, and this that way it would be helpful. It's really up to you and how you work. The Saunders and the Fabric Arno I couldn't get any colour off after just a quick simple two swipes but the Dale Rowney and the Bockingford did lift the Dale Rowney significantly more than the Bockingford. Definitely as a quick summary I do recommend working on the best paper you can afford as you will get better results and easier results. But student grade paper does have its uses. So please do let me know your thoughts on this. What paper do you use? Do you use student grade paper or do you prefer to use cotton paper? Is there, do you really have a preference? So thank you very much for watching this and I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to hit that like button and please do consider subscribing to my channel. I shall see you in the next video guys. Take care. Bye bye.